Hi guys, expat Ian in the Philippines. So today I have a problem <laughs> which I hope I can uh, take care of. So I have a uh, HP NV Bang and Olufsen notebook. And for quite a while now, I keep on getting a message that the battery is um, it's not good anymore and that I need to exchange it. And so what happens if, if I use it without the power cable, within five minutes it, it's drained and it automatically switches off. So last week I ordered a new battery. Um, apparently, well, according to the seller, it was an original um, HP battery and uh, I installed it into my laptop and I got the message um, battery not detected. So um, I checked a few things. I think I found something. So anyway, I sent that back, got in contact with a new seller and uh, it's just gone. So what we're going to do, I will try <laughs> to show you how to uh, remove a battery from um, HP um, notebook and how to install a new one and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll work this time. So, see you in a minute. So, there we have our notebook. The power cable is taken off and also switched off. Now all we have to do is uh, remove the back cover, use our small Phillips screwdriver and uh, remove the screws. So the four screws at the front are slightly shorter than uh, and all the rest. the two in the middle there we have one two three four front four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve screws so uh, you need now two flat screwdrivers to pop off the back. So we just stick that in there. Set so one and slide it, and normally it should just uh, it should just pop off. As I've done this a couple of times, it's uh, slightly easier. If the cover's never been off before, it's it's a bit hard. So, and there, there we have the battery, the old one. So I'll just put the screws there away. Right. This is the connector for the uh, hard drive. Have to uh, pull that out. It's just a uh, push in, pull out type with a with a connector. So we're going to take these screws out for the battery. These are all small ones. If 
for me it's a little bit harder with my big fingers it's advisable to use uh, one of these uh, magnet, uh, magnetic screwdrivers so here we have the connector the power connector for the battery to the laptop So sometimes we have to uh, disconnect that first so we can get at that um, that screw that's there, yeah. Because the cable then covers the screw. So I think this is the last one. Take that out and slowly... So there we go. So... And there... There we have our old battery. Doesn't look <laughs> in very good condition. So we'll take then the new one. And we'll just compare this with the old one just to make sure that this, so this is the new one. Just compare that they are the same size that all the holes for the screws line up correctly. So we'll just try and put that in there first. Right. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit fiddly with these small, these small parts. So, not a lot of room for these parts. So, put that in. So, put back the screws. I don't know if you can hear the noise in the background, guys. That's my neighbours and the baby. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, just pop this one in. Now, yeah. let's put the uh, cable back in, so sort of press that closed, and uh, we're done. New battery installed. So we're just checking again, all the numbers are the right ones. Then uh, we can put the back cover back on again. So that should just pop into place. So making sure we uh, take the shorter screws again for the front. So, three, and four, and all the rest, they're all the same size, all the rest, it's just the, the four front ones, they're slightly shorter than all the rest.
and uh, we're done. So all we have to do now is power our laptop up and uh, see if anything happens. Well, that's a good sign already. We can see there in the uh, bottom left hand corner starting to power up. So we'll just wait to see if it does anything else. So, so far it's looking okay. So we need to look down to the battery signal to see if it's uh, detected a, a battery. This is the problem I had last week. It was showing me no, no battery detected. So just wait for this to go away. So there we have, and it's uh, it's good, 56% power is uh, showing me, and the battery's there. So success. Just open that up, see what that tells me, and it showed me there 56% battery power. So that's without the cable. So what we can do is uh, connect a power cable and see if it starts um, powering up with the, with the cable in. We just checked and yeah we have success. So guys, success. So uh, here's the old battery. You can see it's all, uh, what do you call it? It's swollen. So through the heat over the years, I, I think I've had this laptop nearly 10 years, I think. But it, it's still, so this was the, so it was losing power as soon as you take the, the power cord off five minutes. So I've installed a new one. Last week it showed me no battery detected. As you've seen now just in the video, um, it's found the battery, it's given me 56% and I've now um, connected the, the cable and uh, we'll load that into 100% and then see how long that last end without the cable but uh, yeah very good so guys that is how you remove a battery from a HP NV Bang Olufsen um, notebook uh, take battery out install the new one and uh, that's it so I think how many 10 minutes not even that so guys for you guys that have got to change your battery, I hope that uh, helps you a little bit. So that's all from me, Koya Ian in the Philippines. I'll catch you guys on my next video. So until then, it's goodbye. See you guys and take care.